हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ सोनाली हुद्दार असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट टूडे यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द कोर जावा टॉपिक इनहेरिटन्स इनहेरिटन्स इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग अवर सी इफ यू आर कंसिडरिंग सी प्लस प्लस जावा दीज आर नथिंग बट द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड लैंग्वेजेस सो The inheritance is one of the feature of object-oriented programming language. It is the concept that is used for usability purpose. Once you are creating that thing, one can use that again and again wherever it is needed. So there is no need to create that same thing again and again. So one can say, as the name suggests, inheritance means to take something that is already in existence. Inheritance is the mechanism through which we can derive classes from other classes. So from one class, we can derive. another class over here now just consider the definition of inheritance creating of new class from existing class is called as an inheritance so one class is already in existence from that class you are going to inherit another class so over here the class which is going to be derived is also known as your child class and the class from which you are going to derive another class that is called as an parent class when you derive a class from a base class the derived class will inherit all members of the base class except the constructors so if uh, in your base class constructor is there one cannot derive that constructor along with that all the mem members are going to be derived but over again over here one uh, thing is there that is nothing but if you are declaring that members in your base class as an private members then that private members one cannot derive in your derived class okay that is nothing but the child class so now just consider this the class whose features are inherited is known as a super class base class or a parent class so these are nothing but the name for your super class now the class which is inherits the other class is known as sub class derived class extended class or child class the subclass can add its own fields and methods in addition to the superclass fields and methods for example just consider suppose in one superclass if you are having two properties okay so and if you are going to derive another class from that same then along with that two properties another properties one will have in the child class now just consider the keyword of this inheritance so extend keyword is going to be utilized to inherit that class now just consider the syntax so it will be much understanding class derive class extends base class so first of all you just have to create derive class and then you have to extend the base class from that now in derive class one can write number of methods and fields okay that are private for that derive class and whatever the methods and fields are available in your base class that one can use over here in derive class so derive class have both its own methods and fields and along with base class methods and fields now just consider the types of inheritance there are mostly five types of inheritance first one single inheritance hierarchical inheritance multi level inheritance hybrid inheritance and multiple inheritance so one by one we are going to consider that all types so the very first that is nothing but single inheritance now just concentrate on this diagram over here two classes are there class a and class b here class a works as a base class and class b works as a uh, child class okay class b is inherited from class a so here a class is a parent and b is nothing but the child class so here only single class work as a parent class and single class work as a child class that is nothing but your single inheritance that is why it is known as single inheritance where only one single class is there which is work as a parent and single class is there which is work as a child now move to the second type that is nothing but multi level inheritance now just consider over here in the diagram you are having total three classes class a class b and class c okay class b is derived from class a so as it is derived from class a class a consider as a parent class 
and class B considered as a child class. Now just consider another thing that is nothing but class C. Class C is derived from class B over here. So here class B work as a parent class for the class C and class C is nothing but the child class. So here if you are considering class B work as both that is nothing but child class as well as parent class over here. Okay. Now just consider the third type that is hierarchical inheritance. Over here one base class is there and from that base class you are going to derive number of subclasses that is child classes. So more than one child classes is there that is nothing but which is going to make a hierarchy over here. Next type that is multiple inheritance. In multiple inheritance over here two base classes are there. From that base classes you are going to derive only one single child class. Okay. So now just consider what they are going to say. When a derived class is created from more than one base class then that inheritance is called as a multiple inheritance. But multiple inheritance is not going to be supported by Java by using classes. So if you want to support this if you want to write that multiple inheritance in Java you just have to use interfaces. By using interfaces, now it is easy to write a program on multiple inheritance. Next one that is nothing but hybrid inheritance. Hybrid inheritance, here you are going to use any combination of remaining four inheritance type. Remaining four is nothing but your single inheritance, hierarchical inheritance, multi-level inheritance and multiple inheritance. So, one can use in any combination. This is what, uh, as the diagram going to suggest, this is one of the example where your class A is the base class. From that base class, you are going to derive two classes, class B and class C. So, which one is this? This is nothing but your multiple inheritance. Okay. Now, class B and class C work as a base class for class D. Okay. So, which one this is? This is nothing but your multiple inheritance okay so this is nothing but related to your inheritance thank you so much